and welcome to another chapter of Notes from the Narrowboat. Last time we told you about us buying our own narrowboat, this time we're going to tell you about how newbies move a narrowboat. It could be very interesting. <laughs> it certainly okay, could be. So the options for us moving our boat, seeing as it was 80 miles away by road and 120 by river and canal, uh, were <coughs> one, we have it low loaded, two, we go and get it and move it ourselves. Having never moved a narrowboat, yep. wasn't keen on that option. No. And the amount of locks. I don't yeah. remember how many locks there were, yeah. And it a lot. <laughs> uh, and it was autumn, so the nights were drawing in, um, and we knew it'd take at least a week. And having never done it, I really, really didn't think that was our option. No, really didn't. It, it probably would have put us off having the boat, I would have thought. I would have thought so. And low loading, you've got to pay. Well, yeah, well, well the third option was um, getting someone to actually move it for yeah. us. But anyway, yeah, so we went to. Um, looking to low loading it and we went to two or three companies and it was going to cost a lot of money especially as having it taken out of the water and put into the water yeah. at the marina we wanted to go to was going to cost quite a lot of money and we were worried about the boat being damaged I know it wouldn't have been but you always have that you in the back know. of your mind so we went on the internet and we looked to see if there were any boat moves available yeah. so our so. option was definitely going to be get somebody else to move it for us on the water. Yeah. Waving goodbye to Paul at Mercia Marina on the 12th of October. Um, where he's on route to where, where, where our moorings are going to be in six days' time. Bye. or seven days became a lot longer due to the strong stream caused by the rain and severe flooding that hit in October so just a bit pardon? just a bit just a bit yeah <laughs> so we caught up with Paul again at Northampton Marina this time on the 19th of October and had a nap with him looked at the boat and then saw him on his way again and it wasn't until the 23rd of October yep. that uh, he made it to the marina 
uh, having started, as we said earlier on, on the 12th. Anyway. Whew. Yeah, just a bit. Yeah, yeah. home at last. Long wait. Yeah, but, long wait. Uh, he did a good job. Yeah. Uh, and we thank him very much for it. Yep. So, yeah, that's, that's it. it. So, yeah. yeah, we'll catch up with you in chapter three. Yeah, and where we'll say and tell you what we did next. Okay. okay. Bye right. for now. Bye. Bye.